PSA Reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, where to follow your boy at. Please hit the like button and all that. I really appreciate that. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk, man. Conway the Machine was on the Breakfast Club this morning. Um, made sure I pull up and watch that particular episode. Um, this was this was actually a dope interview with Charlemagne and Angela Yee and Conway the Machine. I, I, I got to admit that. This is a very good conversation that they had. Not just about the music and gossip rumors and everything like that, right? Um, obviously, Conway, uh, fresh off his God, don't make mistakes project. Um, I guess what stood out to me are a few subjects that I'm about to touch on right now that Conway spoke about. Obviously, the Eminem um, convo was interesting. Um, Con saying it was more business than friendship when it pertains to his dealings with Shady Records and, and Eminem and stuff like that. Con said him and M don't have a relationship. Um, does that shock you, though, that M and Conway wouldn't have a, a, a stronger bond, maybe? Because listening to Con, it sounded like he, and the way he broke down the reasoning, the reasons why he decided to sign the Shady Records which is very interesting to me also. Now, being that M is an MC and not an MC turn executive, I would think, personally speaking, he would have a stronger bond with the artists he had. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know M's relationship with Obi Trice, Stat Quo, or, or, or the D12 brothers, Conniva and the rest of those cats. Are they still boys and this, that, and the third? Um, but... You know, we know about the, the situation with Slaughterhouse and Eminem and stuff like that. And I wonder if M saw that. What is he feeling when he when he has Conway say that, that an artist that was signed under his imprint, it, it was much more closer to a Kanye West and a Jay-Z compared to Marshall Mathers. You know what I mean? And it seemed like every it seemed like it's always one thing about 50 Cent, though, if you notice throughout the years, 50 has always shown Eminem wild love. If, if 50 feels a way about M for whatever reasons, we're not going to know about that, right? Um, but does, does Eminem, should Eminem have a, a great relationship? If you're a rapper turned executive, you should know the ins and outs and the, 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 the artist's side of things that you want to keep that relationship pure and, and and be on the one accord. What do you guys feel about that? You know, um, I like how Khan broke down why he chose to sign with Shady Records. Khan talked about him watching what M did for 50 Cent. And we all know how 50 was blackballed in New York City and it took a dude from, a white dude on top of that, from Detroit and Dr. Dre to really put their arms around 50 and embrace him. It wasn't New York City. It was Detroit and LA. Yeah, the fans rocked with 50, but I'm just saying the executive, the shady-ish that go on in hip-hop, man. Um, but I guess Khan watching like the rest of us back in 02, 03, when, when, when M was rocking with, with, um, with 50, you know, Talked about him and him and 50 having something in common in the sense of both of them getting shot and them and them signed, signed um, 50. So I don't know if Khan saw that and thought he was going to be on that. And I think that's so... Khan, you got to understand something, man. We're talking 02, 03 when Ja Rule and them was really running hip-hop. And 50 came in at the right time. It's almost like when Mace was out here. DMX came at the right time. Came at the right time. All that shiny suit ever and all that. DMX came at the right time. So I don't know if the timing of you signing to Shady, you would... I understand what Khan said that, though. And it's funny. I'm glad that, that that conversation was brought up because I never really heard Conway break down to that degree of why he chose... To sign the Shady Records, man. Um, so I can see Khan's vision on why he decided to sign there, right? 
He said Slaughter Alex wasn't there anymore. I guess he felt M would direct all his attention towards them. Griselda or Conway anyway. Because Benny's not signed to Shady or Wes. It was just Conway. Right? Um, did not know Rock Nation wanted Conway, but he chose Shady over over Rock Nation. And I wonder when Conway goes to these Rock Nation brunches and stuff, and he's around Hove and the rest of those guys. Does he kick himself in the rear end like, man, fam, did I, why did I sign with him? Obviously, like he said on The Breakfast Club, he's going to be real careful on what he says. But obviously, you, when you make a comment like that, you're harboring other feelings that you don't really want to put out there. You know what I mean? So, you know? But listen to the Conway, man. It just sounds like he hates them. He just sounds like he hates the music industry. You know, it's funny. You're a rapper, and you decide to get into hip-hop. And you finally get here, and you hear so many times a lot of these rappers aren't happy and stuff. And respect, Con, sometimes listening to you, you do sound like you're down, like you're not happy, like you're almost damn near sad, brother. You feel me? Um, love hearing Conway talk about the Kyle song. Um, me and Watson have talked about that before. Like, he feels, Watson feels stressed is a better song than the cow. I never subscribe to the stress being a better song than the cow. I just can't. I can't. When a man's telling me he's crying from writing a song, like, like stress is dope, don't get me wrong. But the cow, man, come on, fam. And I'm, I'm on record saying the cow is Conway's best record. Conway, with all due respect, man, you put words together, dope and everything, brother. You paint ill pictures. But there's no way, I'm sorry, brother, you shot your load in the sense of making your greatest song. I just, I, I just think the cow's going to be his greatest song. And there's nothing wrong with that because it's so heartfelt and the stuff he's saying. Ask my baby mama when Machine Gun died and all he's saying, like, want to grab the, grab the sticks and go ape outside? Like, I ain't find a person that did it that killed my pride? Like, that's some real heartfelt lyrics. You know what I'm saying? I don't hear him talking about him crying up and tearing up when he's performing stress. It's always been the cow. You know what I mean? Um, Khan says success sucks. Success sucks. And when he when he said that, I could only go back to Jay-Z and Nas on American Gangster, this song Success. What I think about success, like what Jay was talking about, and it's crazy. Cause with success, like Conway says, it turns into the B.I.G. more money, more problems. Right? And it's crazy how that dynamic works, man. You wear all the fly gear, you all the chicks on your on you. You know what I mean? You wearing the fly clothes, record spinning, everybody showing you love, fake love, all kind of ish, right? But you're not happy where you're at. You did all that to get here, but once you got here in the hip hop industry, you're not happy. That's wow. But you hear that not just hip hop, through our music, the music industry, period. You know? So. I don't know, man. Sound like Griselda contracts um, that Conway signed. He, like he said, he didn't read it at the time when he signed there and everything. Um, so when Conway says that he doesn't trust anyone anymore, and Charlamagne's asking him, not even West Side Gun, and Con said, nah, I don't trust anyone. My thing to that is, Griselda, y'all make it sound like the fans be reaching and trying to make the bloggers make certain headlines just to put ish out there and we're trying to play divide and conquer between the group when we're not the ones that are doing that when conway dropped god don't make mistakes he dropped a um a long instagram post you know what i mean me and watson spoke about that when that project dropped and then when he's on there to say that he don't trust anyone and Charlemagne says not even west and you say not even him what am I supposed to take that as a person that covers hip hop? I, I hear that and just sweep that under the rug. It's all business. Does Gun feel a way about that comment? If you're West Side Gun, do you feel a way about Conway putting that out there and not keeping that on the hush and like talk about show money? Um, Conway talk about how he gets show money, um, side hustlers. Side hustles, merch, is the way he makes, I guess, I'll paraphrase right now, a large quantity of his bread. 
compared to rap, make, sell, making music, making money off rap music, you know? And that's when Benny and Conway make that song, um, Tyson versus Ali, and like I said, y'all trying to make it sound like the fans play the vibe, conquer with y'all. Nah, y'all play a big part in that, though, so I don't know what to believe, man, you know what I'm saying? I rock with Con, I rock with, with Westside, I rock with Benny and all that stuff, man. And Benny, we got to talk about them sneak disses you be doing, brother. One.